Yeah. Okay. But you don't have to talk to it. Just to, I mean, you could do your own thing. I don't care. Some people just don't like. A lot of people. Everybody realize that like they kind of have to like be on camera because like, not in here, just in general. Like with anything you want to do, you want to promote your nail business. Nah, word. you want to hear a crazy story? This shit in Texas happened. This uh, like these hairstylists. Um, they're like forty years old. Moms and shit doing it. Like one of the moms was jealous of the other moms because she had a lot of clients and she wound up killing them, her friend, like killing the other associate Yo, who does hair. Wild. And like they tied her up. He, she cut the body up and shit and like put it in bags and like she put it in the dumpster. But they called her like 20 years later. They never knew what happened to her because they didn't know there was cameras in the back and shit. And uh, like. Yeah, she she they got videos of her like she had went to Walmart and got like a s certain type of saw like she had to cut the bones of the person. That's scary. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's just crazy because you don't really know what type of people is out there, bro. Because you know what's crazy? Down in um, what was it? Oh, fuck, where this happened, bro? I think this shit happened in um, Atlantic City, dog. These hairstylists, bro. They was getting jealous of each other, bro. Right? Let me tell you, that bro. Like, they wanted their hair done for real, for real, bro. Because, honestly, I would never do this, bro, for some fucking hair. They pulled out, like, a fake hundred, right? <clears throat> and the bitch was old, I guess, so she didn't even notice. Bro, gave the hundred to the bitch, right? Boom, boom, whatever, bro. They counted the bills later. You know, that's the business. You got to count the money that you made for the day, whatever. Count tips, all that, whatever, bro. Bro, as soon as they found out that shit was fake, like, they saw a fake hundred, they were like, bro, wait. Like, someone just handed you a fake hundred, bro? And they're like, yeah, bro. And the person came back, like, the next month, bro. I swear to you, bro. He got it. He got. He got his hair done. You feel me? But that, like, I guess, like the old bitch's like husband or whatever, bro. Some old nigga, like some old head, bro. He boomed that kid, bro. Over a hundred dollars, bro, for hair, bro. He boomed him, bro. Like, bro. I, the thing I'm not understanding about that is, like, bro, you get a fake hundred from someone, and you still take them back, bro. Like, I understand it's part of the lining, but that's your time, bro. That's your job. You're putting in your work, bro, for like no money. You're just gonna kill a nigga, like, bro. I'm sorry, bro, but like. If I kill somebody, bro, put, like, five racks on their head at least, bro. Ten, maybe, bro. Unless it's not one of my personal ops, but, like, that's besides the fucking point. Fuck Jersey weather, right? Fuck Jersey weather, oh, man. <laughs> Beautiful day in the motherfucking studio. <laughs> think about gangster snitching, bro. That young thug and all his YSL members testified on him. Here's here, here's what I think, bro. If with this gang banging shit, like coming from a gang banger, man, you know what comes with it. You know, good and bad. What you gonna have to do in certain situations before you even <clears throat> start your probation, get your rounds, all that. I ain't gonna say too much, be you know, because I ain't going federal, but. Like, think about snitch, like, I almost called him Snitch Nine, but yeah, Snitch Nine, bro. He, he done ratted on all his big homies, all of that, man. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't prepared for what came with, what he was getting down with. With them YSL members, bro, clearly a lot of them ain't know what it was, you know, what it is. You know, they, they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because with that jail shit, man. If you just stick with your kind, man, you rock with your peoples, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to be straight, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know how it is down south, but out here, I know how it is, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when I say rock with your kind, that doesn't always mean rock with your race, you know what I mean? Because I'm Italian, you know, I'm considered a white boy, but I can't be Aryan because I'm not none of that. I don't fuck with none of that, you know, I get down with the kinfolk, you know, I'm six, I'm Hoover. All of that, you know, I'm in a black gang, but, you know, you're going to see some white boys, some Mexican homies, you know what I mean? There's some black homies that bang Mexican, you know what I mean? Like, all of that, it really just depends, like, where you from. If you already gang bang, you go in the cell, you go in with who you reside with, whether it's Mexican, black people, white people, whatever, man. But a lot of, like, white kids, they'll really touch the cell and, like, find out, like, that, because, like, the set they jack in, they, they find out, like, they're not stamped or valid or something, then... They, they most likely just turn Aryan, you know what I mean? Send the next beat. Yeah, I got you, gangster. But I was saying before, them YSL members, bro, it's really crazy how they snitching. I feel like I talked about this multiple times, but now that I'm seeing more cases build up on the gram and on the internet and shit, it's crazy because it's not only just Gunner, bro. It's like like five, ten people, dog, that just ratted on Thug. 
you're giving somebody life, you know, that done almost pretty much everything for your whole set, your whole gang, your clique, whatever it is, your label, anything, man. Like, that shit's just insane to me, man. It's crazy, dog. It's really crazy. I don't get this shit, man, but we gotta record some motherfucking heat. Come on, boy. I just think it's hella fake, man. I just, I really think that shit is just so whack. How people you stick with in the streets that you call your brother that you grew up with, saying you die for them, kill for them, but you snitching on them? Come on now, man. This ain't no school shit. This ain't no motherfucking bullshit, man. This is the real life feds, man. Like you telling crackers that your mans did this, mans did that. The they gonna crack down on you. you. Seen the XXX Tentacion case? How there's like three black dudes who killed that. They're Even saying Drake should, had I mean, something to do with it. He told he told the, the fat boy who's snitching right now, basically telling the whole story. About yeah, it. one of the bulls who killed the who was a part of that. They snitched on his you heard band. What he said to him, like, "You working with the white man now?" Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Working with yep. I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> <Yeah>. about. <clears throat> I wanna get this straight too, man. Cause a lot of people been giving me the, uh, a lot of shit for this, man. I like, all right, look, I'm Sicilian and Spaniard. You feel I didn't me? Know you were Sicilian. I have a lot of yeah, Sicilian. homie. You know it, gang. I get down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm be Sicilian and I'm Spaniard, man. But listen, the thing is, like, people be like, oh, you a white boy. You can't be saying that. Here's the thing I'm white, but I'm not no cracker. I'm not, you think about it, bro. Like, People from what was it? Poland, Germany, Russia, that like blonde hair, blue eyed niggas. I'm not them, bro. You feel me? I'm not none of that. You know what I'm saying? My family, like, since we from Sicily, you know, Italian mafia, all that. Bro, the Italian mafia fucks with the Crips, bro. What's you saying? Like, come on, stop Edit. playing. Edit. <laughs> Bitch, I'm young stony. I'm in the boom. <laughs> Damn, this shit sounds so good. <laughs> But yeah, man, on top of that, bro, I'm really from the hood. Oh, yeah, Stoney, and you know why I, I meant to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you while you're recording. The reason why it sounds so good when you're screaming is, in it is because that's a fucking expensive-ass mic. That shit is seven fucking minutes. It's picking so it up, you know what I mean? you that on a $200 mic, my Rode mic. Oh, uh, that shit going to sound like dick. Yeah, it's going to sound good, but, like, it's going to sound The gain is like going to be too high on it, bro, you know what I mean? this shit is the only mic you could do that shit, man. People Hell can't yeah. compare to us, because who has this? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Lil Uzi Nobody, be using yeah, the same mic, you know what I mean? It is. It's a smaller version of this. Yeah, the bro. Small version and big version. It's the best thing that Newman is the best mic and a telephone thing. That's the best mic and Sony. Nah, yeah, bro. That that, bro. I fuck with Sony heavy dog, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. That mic right there, bro. Was that Newman? Newman U87. Bro, that John goes yeah, you see that so in all the Juice retarded, World picks and NBA bro. Young Boy picks. Oh yeah. Wait, what's up? You see it in all. Oh the yeah, and all the artist yeah. flicks. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, I just um. I just airdropped the beat to your Mac. All right, bet. Can you accept it? What color do you want in here? Pink or? Um. For that one, you know what? Go red. Go red. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? But it's just because that's the feel shit. You know what I'm saying? I accept it. Bro, you're good, man. There's a full-time real estate. I only get tax paid for 10 dollars It can't be a headache. But with TurboTax, it was a sigh of relief. TurboTax makes it easy to get my taxes done, even if my situation changes. Oh, yeah, my phone's still on, though, so talk about some shit I'm talking about. Aye. Like, go on, elaborate on that. Man, I was saying before, people saying... I can't be, you know, gang gang this because I'm a white boy. I'm not Aryan. I'm a white boy. I'm not a cracker. I want y'all to know that. I'm not that. All right? And I ain't racist either, bro. And I know I know, not all white people are bad. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't stereotyping nothing. When I say crackers, I'm referring to the cops. Not because they white. I'm because they crack down. You feel me? I'm breaking it down for y'all for real. So y'all can really understand what I'm saying in my songs and shit. For real, for real. That's some... That's some me like i'm from like people be hating because i'm a white boy living in the black culture like i grew up in that bro i got black family i grew up in a black neighborhood my set black my flag black anything man 
You know what I'm saying? That's where I stand, bro. I know I'm a white boy, but just know where I stand, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, people be hating for real. And it's sad to see that people is hating on someone standing with them. Someone that came from the same shit they came from. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. That's why I, I only rock with my people's real shit. You know? I don't really try to bring too many people around. Only the realest of the real, like a different breed. <sighs> like, me and my niggas done started the hood in the hood. You know what I mean? Makes long saying, you know, the set. You know? And on top of that, it's just like, it's, it's stressful, man. A lot of bullshit, you know? Because when you part of a set, you know? Because all sets started out small, but they got big. Just like, you know what I mean? Like, expanding, going different places, all that. Different, different cities, different states, you know? The West Coast, all of that, you know, we official, man. I just want people to know, like, we on top. We on top. We on top with that, man. I'm going to keep it stacked with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <coughs> Gangster, though. I'm trying to get into more New York niggas, real rap. Because them boys, they, they be, I don't know. New York and Jersey are like the same, but different at the same time. You know, certain similarities and certain differences and shit. But, you know, lately New York been showing Jersey mad love and shit. I feel like South Jersey need more attention, bro. Because we different than North Jersey. North, North Jersey is just like a whole nother New York. You know what I mean? And I know that because, yeah, you know. Yeah, knows North Jersey. Yeah, right? like, because I got, I got, like, I got gang out there, bro. I got my sitting them out there, you know. But, like, we really came from down south, bro. Like, down south Jersey, we talk different, bro. We talk with, like, up north, up in Newark and, like, New York, they say we talk, like, hick New York because we talk more like them, like, people from down south. You go to Philly, they don't even talk the same or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, though. Because with Jersey, everybody talk different. Everybody, like, you got people that talk like they from New York. You got people that talk like they from, like, like South Carolina, Virginia, Florida, that area. It's wild, and it's it's like a mix too. You know what I mean? Cause like, I don't know. It's different. It's a mix. But me, I I feel like people told me I sound like, you know, a Jersey motherfucker. But like, with slang and shit, they say I sound like a mix of down south and New York. Cause like when I say New York, you hear that New York. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm saying man, we got like in this boot, we get active. I already mean like four hits, or three, something like that. But we about to make another one. I'm making mad open verses, so you need an open verse. Hit my lineup. Hit my DMs on Instagram, my email, my business email, all that. It's going to be up in there. Let me know if you want a feature. Talk business. All that. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hand me my phone. Yeah, where your phone at? Oh, it's over here. <sighs> Smooth TV, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Really out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get all that in there. Hey, man, I'm going to tune back in with y'all, man. Groove out.